Hi, Aries. Welcome back. Okay, this is going to be a general reading for Aries. Hope y'all are enjoying your day. Yes. All right, guys. <laughs> Excuse the people in the back, okay? This is a clear, concise message for Aries. And we have the Ace of Pumpkins coming out. Yeah? All right. That's a good start right there. So can we get some information here? For Aries, a clear, concise message for Aries, please, and thank you. The weather's finally cooling up. How many of y'all are over there where the hurricane hit? I'm just curious, you know? Ooh. Five of potions in reverse. Looks like you're about to be happy about something here, Aries. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, but let's keep going. Something's going to make you happy. You're going to release some kind of worry, stress, guilt, uh, grief, okay, loss, something like that. You're letting it go. That's what I feel. I feel like you're just letting it go and having a new beginning here. Spirit, can we get a clear, concise message here? For Aries, please, and thank you. I'm going to reshuffle. Something's wrong. Shouldn't take that long. Spirit. If you're new here, if you're a cross watcher, my name is Ninja. Come on in, grab a seat, and join us. That was a bad one. Ha! <laughs> Did y'all see that? Let's do this again. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Spirit, can we get a clear, concise message for Aries, please? And thank you. A clear, concise message. I'll take it. Okay. So it came out as a letter. So there's some kind of toxicity around a family, a karmic family, possibly. Okay. It seems like there was a loss of money or a loss of something here. Somebody was uh, trying to get their way here, okay? But I do feel like with the Three of Cups, you know, somebody's going to be happy. Somebody's going to be celebrating Aries. And I feel like that's going to be you, definitely. Uh. Okay, so there's like something going on there. Okay, let's get more clarity. We'll find out what that's about, but... I feel like um, it does, it looks like somebody wants to come in and tell you they're sorry, okay? And it's, this is going to be like a happy union. Somebody, who, yeah, I'm getting like somebody wants to come and tell you they're sorry because of this toxic energy, right? And it's going to make you happy, okay? I'm seeing some secrets. There might be some family secrets going on. Nine of candles in reverse. So it's like somebody around you is going to be having, somebody around you is going to let their guard down. Okay. I feel like this is going to be somebody very happy here. And I feel like it's you. Somebody's going to let their guard down. We do have the eight of pumpkins. Okay. So somebody's going to let their guard down. I feel like this is going to be you. Like you're going to get around this person. This person's going to apologize. You're going to be really happy about it. And you're going to let your guard down. That's what I'm hearing. Something about that. And you might end up finding out that somebody was like slandering. And this might have something to do with a karmic family member who was slandering you, saying rude things, uh, you know, just being two-faced. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm seeing family disputes. It's like this person was so toxic that they actually got everybody in the family like fighting against each other, uh, you know, creating conflict in the family, making the family split into two teams, like this, these ones against those ones, that kind of thing. And it seems like it was a lot of conflict over money. Uh, it could be money. It could be, you know, uh, it could actually be about property, you know, or somebody's inheritance. Okay. Like the, the, the whole family was fighting over this inheritance, you know, Somebody in the family might have gotten their hands on this uh, on this money. And then they what did they do? They turned around and they, like, spent a lot of it. Okay? Or they, they, they like, blew it in on, on what? On nothing? Okay? And this might be a Virgo in the family, Capricorn in the family, maybe a Cancer in the family. It's like this person took control over the inheritance and then it looks like they just blew it all in. Okay? They were making, you know, it's like they were trying to make it seem like they were making the right decision or this person is trying to make it seem like they're they're making the right decision, that they're the right person to handle this money, this property. 
Yeah. There might be an organization that's handling this now. Okay. Uh, maybe the courts are handling it. Okay. Somebody's handling it or somebody's looking into it. Somebody's like trying to find out what's going on behind the scenes here. Okay. And it's, it's a lot less than it was supposed to be. Okay. I feel like there's like a lot less than there was before. So this person was messing it up. Okay. <laughs> They're messing it up. They're taking it all right. We have the four of coin. I mean, the four of uh, pumpkins, four coins, same thing. Then we have the uh, emperor in reverse. And the empress. Okay. So we have the empress here. We also have the king of lightning. And we have the, what is this? The five of potions, but in reverse. So we'll put these to the side real quick, okay? And we'll come back to that. But it looks like something here is going to... Uh, be coming out about this money, okay? Yeah, something, some kind of, I want to say, like, information about this money is going to come out. Huh. Yeah, somebody's, like, really spending recklessly and acting very um, loud and flamboyant and this person's a criminal okay so this person just it's just a flat-out criminal uh that's what i'm getting this person's a right out criminal they've they've really messed up here tell me more about the hierophant spirit they're messed up because somebody's digging into this somebody's gonna find out what this person did okay somebody's about to find out more disputes fights yeah somebody's holding on to this Okay, somebody's being reluctant to give this up. Uh, somebody's very jealous. Okay, maybe you have a Queen of Swords, a Libra, maybe a Gemini, maybe a Leo that is the one that is doing this. Okay, this is the one that's like really into like they're going to keep the money. You know, it's their money. You know, it's theirs, right? It's like they're holding on to this. Um, something about this fight, this arguing. Okay, this person's like holding on to what was being said. Uh, they're using it to control the situation. It's like, you know, they're like, oh, you know, this person said that. They might have like some kind of proof of what this argument was about. Okay, um, it's, it's as though they're trying to create a case. I feel like this is like a case, uh, you know, a case of bullying, like saying that you bullied them because you wanted this money and they were, they got the money. They, they're handling the money and then you came along and you know you caused all this bullying and and abuse and they were abused and you know it's giving me that kind of energy okay so this person is like trying to build a case against you that's what i'm hearing uh, they might have even have other family members in on it you know saying oh yeah you know this person is telling the truth here you know because i do feel like there's a split in the family okay like one group against another group right that kind of thing so they probably have the other one saying yes that this is all true you know this is right this is what this person did you know that kind of thing hmm. yeah so something about that it's like this person is unwilling to work with anybody and they're unwilling to listen to what anybody has to say and this person just like flat out lying about everything. There's something about a broken home that's significant here. Something about a broken home, okay? Like this person is justifying it because of a broken home or that they come from a broken home and they, they're justifying that, you know, they need this money because of that. When in reality, it's just about jealousy, Aries. So because of that, because of it being about jealousy, it tells me that it makes me feel like this money was really meant for you. You know, like it was really supposed to be your money. And then this other person took it and ran with it, right? That kind of thing. Spirit, tell me more about the, what was I looking at? The eight of, of pumpkins, please. In reverse. Tell me more about that. 
tell me more about that. Okay. I will take it. Usually it's supposed to be just like one or two cards, but right now for some reason it's like throwing me a <laughs> quite a bit of cards here. Somebody's really mentally stressed about this whole situation. Nobody can sleep. Somebody can't sleep, but it's like I feel like this person is like trying to celebrate prematurely. Okay. I feel like this person is like trying to celebrate but without really having any good reasons to celebrate you know it's like they're trying to create a bad reputation for you here because it's something about you if you have this bad reputation right it it would give them everything okay so there they might be trying to rush something here they're trying to rush 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 <laughs> i can't pronounce it rush they're trying to rush it because they're hoping that they're going to get out of like some kind of debt or poverty okay like they're going to get out of something here by hurrying up hurrying this hurrying this up oh this person don't want me to talk is they're making me stutter guys by hurrying things up right but there's like something going on where this person they have this false idea that they're winning when in reality they're not they it's something mental going on with this person you know mentally they're not stable okay this person might need to see a therapist or something because something's really going on here where they're not healed and it might be because of them coming from a broken home okay something about a broken home it might be them right and they're like carrying all these scars with them right but they're trying to make it seem like like they are healed but they're not healed right they're just trying to hurry up to get to the celebration. Um, yeah, to get to the money. It's all about the money. It's greed. Okay? And the fact that they're trying to throw this bad reputation on you, you know, by saying things about you. And it's more of like them trying to make it seem like you cannot handle the money. Like, you know, it's more of like them trying to say that you have some kind of mental problems. Okay? And you're unhealed. So they're, they're definitely deflecting. So everything that I've said about them, about them being broke and possibly, you know, they were like homeless for a while or something like that, right? And then having this false victory and thinking that they can handle this. And it's, it's what they're saying about you because they're trying to give you a better reputation. Like they're trying to make it seem like, you know, you would not know what to do with this money. Like you wouldn't be able to handle it because mentally you're not all there, you know? And they're thinking that they're gonna just have this big success, that like they're gonna take this money and do something good with it, but they're not, okay? Actually, the money's just gonna be like being drained, okay? This person's not gonna use the money to build on the money or to help the family in any way. You know, I mean, yeah, they're gonna help themselves, but that's as far as it's gonna go. This person is trying to make it seem like you have a lot on your plate. Eh, you would think, you know, if you have a lot on your plate right now, then the money would come in handy and it would help you. Okay? Yeah. It's like, that doesn't even make sense. Sometimes when people are lying and saying crazy things, you know, they come up with things that they think is a good point and it's not. And th that is definitely one of them. Okay? Yeah. You might be unemployed at this time, okay? So this is something that this person might be using against you. Uh, maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe you didn't go to uh, go to college or maybe you didn't go to high school or something like that. Something about that, about you not going to school or not wanting to go to school or something like that is significant or something that they're trying to use against you. But it's like, that doesn't have nothing to do with anything. Like I said, I feel like this person is just coming up with like really crazy things just to say, just to like make things up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like this person does have a fear about, about where this is going. Okay. So this person is definitely scared about where this is going, even though they're trying to stay very positive here. Okay. This person is still 
you know, they know that everything's still up in the air. They, they you know, nothing is, nothing has been written in stone, okay? This person might be a gambler, actually. Okay, they might be a gambler and, yeah, very um, criminal-minded, very narcissistic energy, very unreliable type of person. I mean, they could pretty much say whatever here, very mentally unstable, okay? So it's like they're coming up with stuff here. They have no consciousness about what they're doing, all right? That's what I'm hearing. They have, like, no consciousness about what it is that they're doing here. And they think about what they're saying here. So this person being so like um, the way that they are expressing themselves, the way that they're saying things, this person is like trying to burn this bridge with you, right? Because they're trying to make sure that you can't come and get the money or you can't be part of this. Like they're hoping that it'll push you away. Like you'll just walk away from this, but you're not, <laughs> you're not, you just keep keep coming on back okay this person's like hoping that you're gonna say something or do something that is reckless right to make to paint you as this bad guy they really want you to be the bad guy here okay and they and then the family the karmic family has a lot to do with this okay so this person might be like very spoiled but in reality i see you as the empress here with the with being very optimistic, you know, yeah, you're gonna. I see. I feel like there's a judge around you here, Aries. This judge is definitely gonna speak up. Okay, let's get some more clarity here. Yeah, I've got the Eight of Potions coming out in reverse. I feel like there's a judge here. Okay, this judge is gonna see everything, and that I feel like that's confirmation. If you hear my dogs, that's confirmation. Yeah. I feel like they're, they're going to see everything that this person is doing, you know? The jealousy here with this person. Let's see if she stops barking, guys. I don't know if she's trying to do my reading for me or what, but... <laughs> this person refuses to let this go. This is why this judge is coming in, okay? They don't want to let this go. They don't want to walk away from this. They can't walk away from this. There's definitely an indecision. Things are up in the air about this this money. So the judge is not like rushing into anything. That's what I'm hearing. This judge is definitely not walking. I'm picking from the bottom of the deck. This judge is not making a decision because it's like they see how this is going to affect the family. Okay. So it's like they're not going to, to make a quick decision just yet. You know what I mean? So, I I feel like this person is doing this on purpose. They're like trying to create uh, chaos here. Okay, they're like trying to create chaos and making it seem like you know this this judge needs to make a decision, but this judge knows that they need to make they need to have clarity, you know, and they're trying to figure things out here. They know they have to make a, an important decision that's going to end up affecting everybody. Yeah, that's what it is. So this judge is going to take their time here. This is not going to be something fast, okay? But I do feel like you are the one that's going to end up getting everything, okay? Because it's like this person was trying to cut you out completely, right? And they were trying to make you give up here, okay? That's what I feel I feel like, yeah. And then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, so... It looks like their jealousy is showing. Their jealousy is showing and they like had other people helping them. Because they're trying to get you to move away. You might end up moving away, but I feel like this with this judgment coming out in the upright, it's going to be in your favor. It's going to be in your favor here. It's going to end everything. I feel like these people that are involved in this is just as narcissistic as this person. And this could be, you know, several people that is involved in this. Okay. So maybe you have a, um, like somebody who comes off as very loving, caring, of maybe even a, a father figure, uh, business owners, both of them. Okay. 
or maybe they just claim that they own a business. They don't really actually own a business, right? But they just have like, maybe they just have like the assumed name and the tax permit, you know, and all the documents in line, but there's like really no business, okay? So I don't understand why they would do that. Maybe, maybe for other reasons they do that. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to dig into too much about that, but there's a lot of reasons why people would uh, pretend like they're running a business and they're not, but that's what, you know, for maybe legal reasons or something. Um, but these people are like acting like they run a business, but they don't. Okay. Both of them, there's two, there's a male and a female that's involved in this. Um, specifically, possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Well, they're both water signs. Just so you know, both of them are water signs. Uh, and they're both trying to act like, you know, like so shocked and, you know, they can't believe this is going on. And I also see an air sign, a Libra. Okay. Just so you know. So, um, so it's like uh, at least three people in the family that's trying to split the family up by doing this. Okay. The point here, Aries, is that judgment is in the upright position so that's a very strong indication that this judgment is going to fall in your favor okay because all the little schemes and all the little games that they're playing is not going to work yeah the judge is going to take their time because you know the judge has to make sure that well first of all he has to make it look like you know he's considering all sides right and he does realize that this is family related and you know he doesn't want bad blood in the family, you know, so he's going to try to, like, soothe it up and make it look like he really, you know, thought about all the, all the, you know, everything, all corners of the situation, right? That kind of thing. But I do feel like this is going to fall in your favor, okay? I'm going to pull a card out. Yeah, you're going to get justice. Something told me to pull the card from the top of the deck, and I did. And I feel like you're going to get justice. So these people actually might end up owing you money because the the inheritance is not all there. Okay? So whatever this large sum of money is, it's not all there. That means they have been taking from it. And I'll tell you something. There was a video online not very long ago. Where the guy was going to jail and he left all his money to his girlfriend. And he left her $1 million, right? To um, take care of, of herself and their child. They had a child together, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe two kids together. I'm not sure. By the time he got out of prison, she had taken that $1 million and made it into like 2 or $3 million, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. These people have no intentions of making that money grow, okay? It's all about instant gratification. They want what they want, when they want it. They're not going to make it grow. They're not going to do anything with it. They're just going to blow it in. And basically, that's what they're doing, okay? Both of them are in their ego, okay? Or possibly all three of them are in their ego. And it's all about feeding their ego, feeding their, um, you know, the looks of things, how they're being perceived, I mean, it's, that's what it is. And I'm going to tell you something. Aries, this judge is going to notice it, okay? He, you know, people, people can tell when other people are full of BS. I mean, I watched Judge Judy. So, Judge Judy, she's like on it. She's like, you know, she, she can smell BS a mile away, right? This judge is going to smell the BS on these people from a mile away, okay? So I feel like you're definitely going to get it. Something's about to be righted in your, write it here, and it's going to be for you. Okay. All right, Aries, thank you for joining me. Let me know what y'all plan to do for Halloween, guys, because I am getting ready for Halloween. Whoop, whoop. I'm ready. But I'm, I'm, I'm also doing fall cleaning, guys. Like, seriously, I am going through stuff washing stuff and just getting rid of clutter and just all kinds of stuff here and getting ready for halloween <laughs> all right guys y'all take care uh don't forget to like share and subscribe catch me in the next one and y'all take care bye bye